Hey guys, this is Troy with Mainstream Linux. Today we'll be going over Linux Mint 20. Also, about three, four minute mark of the video, I'll be telling you how to enter the contest to win the Xbox Series X giveaway that we are doing on November 30th. Thanks for watching today. This is Linux Mint 20. Now when you boot into Linux Mint 20, the first thing you're going to see is the welcome screen. On the welcome screen, it's going to give you the welcome, the basic welcome intro. Then you've got first steps. And right off the bat, it's going to ask you what you want your desktop colors to be. Also, it gives you the option to go ahead and turn dark mode on from here. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. Let's see. We're going to stay with green. or I'm just going to put it at red and we'll go from there. Plus, you can also do your panel layout. Do you want it to be traditional, where when you click on that, you get the big wide traditional, see how that changed, or you can go to the modern, which will just show the icon in a small highlighted area, see? So we're going to leave that there. System snapshots, this is really awesome. You can go in here and take a snapshot of your system at any specific time, and then if you have any issues, you can make a backup from, you can do a backup from that. Driver manager, multimedia codecs. Update Manager, all this is run directly off the welcome screen. System Settings, Software Manager, and Firewall. Then you've got your documentation, new features, release notes, help. And then, of course, they got their area where you can contribute and help the development of Linux Mint. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's do a right click on here, create new folder, add desk, let's open as root, customize, change. Let's see what the backgrounds are. Uh, I kind of like the one it came out of. It's a little dark, so do they have you? Well, let's go with something like that. There we go. That's a pretty desktop or background. So let's go over here and let's see what comes with it out of the box. Accessories, you get archive manager, calculator, character map, disks, document viewer, files, fonts, GNOTE, image viewer, Passwords and keys, Redshift, that's a color temperature adjustment you can use on your system, screenshot, text editor, USB image writer, USB stick formatter. If you want to download a different distribution of Linux, you can make the live USB right here in Linux Mint, your virtual keyboard, and then your Warpinator, send and receive files across the network. Graphics out of the box, you get document scanner, drawing, and pics. That's odd. It used to come with GIMP out of the box. I guess it doesn't anymore. Internet. You get Firefox for your web browsing, Hex Chat, Thunderbird Mail for your mail, uh, and Transmission for your torrent client. Office comes with Calendar and the LibreOffice Suite out of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the LibreOffice Suite and see which version it is. Okay, LibreOffice, Writer Document, and about LibreOffice. It has 6.4.2.2, so you get uh, a good up-to-date version of LibreOffice. It's not the most cutting-edge brand new because they're into uh, version 7 now, but this right here gives you all the tools that you need to do the things you need to do. And if you've got questions, if you're coming from Microsoft or you're coming from Google, if you watch my video on my channel, I go over LibreOffice and how to Set it up so you can do all your work with Microsoft Documents. It'll save in Microsoft Format. It'll email in Microsoft Format. It'll open in Microsoft Format. If you watch that video, it'll tell you how to set everything up for LibreOffice to use it just like you're using Microsoft Office. Now, what I want to do real quick is on November 30th, we are going to be giving away an Xbox Series X console. So watch this video real quick, and when it's over, I'll tell you how you can sign up.
begin. Okay, love that video. The easiest way to sign up for the giveaway, just subscribe to my channel. That's it. That's all you got to do. Subscribe to my channel. Everybody that subscribes to my channel in November is going to be entered for the giveaway. It will be announced November 30th, 2020 of the Xbox Series X console. So let's get back to Linux Mint. Sound and video. You get celluloid. Multimedia codecs. If for some reason after you install Linux Mint and you're having issues with video playback, audio, go in there. You can usually get all the multimedia codecs that you're going to need. Rhythm box for music. Administration, of course, you got your backup tool, boot repair, disk usage analyzer, drive manager, Gparted, install Linux Mint, logon window, software manager, software sources. Let's look at the software manager and see what we got here. Okay, there's your software manager. It's got your editor's picks up top, which, you know, has the VLCs, the WhatsApps, Inkscape, Audacity. And then you can go down here and you can pretty much, okay, so it does have flat packs. Sound and video, let's pick on that. Let's just say if we picked VLC. That's pretty quick and to the point. Looks like it has reviews, has comments. So that's pretty good software manager. It's always been solid for Linux Mint. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Administration, system reports. Let's see what we're running system monitor in Cinnamon here. We are running about 914 megs at idle. Now I've got this on low specs. I've only assigned it two gigabytes of RAM and uh, two cores in my virtual machine. I like to do that because I want to see how these systems operate on a low spec situation. So that way, if you've got an older PC or an older laptop sitting around, you can plug this on it and know that you're gonna be able to get work done. Uh, preferences. Let's just go check out settings. Settings, backgrounds we've already looked at, effects, font selection. I guess you can go over here and pick, select whatever font you want for any default font, desktop font, document font, monospace font, window tile font. That's awesome. And then, of course, you've got your text scaling that you can scale up and make it a little bigger if you need it to be. I'll leave it at 1.2. That's not going to hurt anything. Themes, accessibility, account details, applets, date and time, desklets, input method, hot corners. You can set your hot corners up so when you hit the corner, a function that you want to happen will happen. Desktop extensions, languages, notifications, online accounts. Let's see if we can integrate our online account into our file manager. And allow. Okay, let's close it out. Now that we've got our Google account set up, let's go over to the folder. And there's our file manager. And there it is. Yes, you've got mainstream. You open that up. Okay, now what that does is it integrates your Google Drive right into your file manager. So you can see it right there. It's mounted. These are three folders I have there. So we'll go to mainstream. Let's see. It will not, they're not downloaded locally. It's showing you what you got online, but once you double click to open locally, it will download it and then open in whatever application it needs to be opened in. So that's one of the things I love about the genome environment, the cinnamon environment. Uh, it's one thing I do miss on uh, Manjaro. And there's a way to do it, but I've also got a lot of my information and documents and photos on MegaCloud and it integrates automatically, so I don't really concern myself with it. So let's go back. Windows, window tiling, startup applications. Of course, you can go in there and whatever you have starting up. At the beginning, you can go in there and shut it off if you need to. Another thing, if you do install this and you're running it as your daily driver, as you start downloading programs, they will start, you know, they'll start getting put in here. So you can come in here and say, okay, well, I don't need that and go down there and pull it off. That way you, you don't slow down your uh, install of Linux Mint or any other Linux for that matter. Bluetooth color disks. This is this is a great tool. Uh, this tool right here, generally speaking, when I was running Windows and I was having issues, Windows to me always had issues with USB drives. Always, I could switch over to Linux, put that USB drive, 
have it wiped clean formatted and I would still be getting error messages on Windows so disks is a very powerful tool but you know Linux Mint does not let me down it's just as strong as it's always been um, if you're switching from Windows or Mac and you want a environment that you can step right into and not miss a beat Linux Mint is definitely up on the top of the list so don't forget to subscribe to my channel November 30th is when we'll announce the winner of this Xbox Series X console. So, appreciate y'all watching today. Linux Mint 20, give it a shot. And this has been Mainstream Linux.